Welcome back to the Compliance Kitchen Podcast. This is Sylvia. We will start today with an OFAC uh, settlement announcement from April 29. This time, OFAC settled with MoneyGram Payment Systems, Inc., uh, which is a global payments company that is based in the U.S. And as you probably know, it uh, the services to allow individuals to send money Uh, to over 200 countries and territories. So the settlement from uh, April concerns the company's potential civil liability for uh, apparent violations of uh, multiple sanctions programs. According to the OFAC's uh, press release, MoneyGram provided services to blocked individuals that were incarcerated in the U.S. federal prisons uh, without uh, getting a license from OFAC first and also processed uh, transactions on behalf of an individual, uh, excuse me, of an additional blocked person and processed transactions for individuals who initiated commercial transactions involving Syria. So for more detail on this, uh, since I can't speak today, Um, you are welcome to visit compliancekitchen.com. I have a post and of course, as always, there's a link to the official government document. Now moving on to the UK, we're gonna jump over to the UK and uh, their new National Security and Investment Act uh, became law just recently. This is probably the biggest shakeup of UK's investment screening regime in the last 20 years. And it aims to modernize the UK government's powers to investigate and intervene in potentially hostile foreign direct investment. So what this means is that the government in the UK will be able to take a close look at proposed investment transactions, impose conditions, or uh, also be able to block a deal if there is an unacceptable risk to Britain's national security. Investors and businesses will have to notify a dedicated government unit the investment security unit through a digital portal about certain types of transactions uh, in certain sensitive sectors such as AI or artificial intelligence would be an example. Uh, The UK government screening powers are now also extended to uh, intangible assets such as intellectual property and Transactions that are expected to be assessed within 30 working days uh, and often more quickly with timelines set out in law for the very first time will also fall under this category. Uh, Investors can notify any transaction voluntarily if they believe it has implications for national security. So you can go ahead and uh, submit also on your own. And... um, As usual, we have links to the official documents because there's a lot more information on this and uh, a lot more guidance than I can just give you uh, over in podcast episode. And I suggest that you take a look at that since this is a pretty significant new development uh, in the UK as they they want to continue their uh, reputation for being a an attractive destination for invest investments, but they also want to protect uh, their national security, understandably so. All right, so now a third one, completely different topic, but might be interesting. The World Trade Organization has a new database that details impact of various regulatory barriers Uh, on costs to global trade. So trade policy barriers such as tariffs and regulations account for at least 14 
14% of trade costs, 1 4, 14%. According to uh, estimates from the World Trade Organization Trade Cost Index that was launched on April 30th of this year. So again, the index measures the cost of trading internationally relative to trading uh, domestically, and it finds that the costs to export are higher for smaller businesses, unskilled workers, and women. So very interesting. If you want to take a look at the index and the results of the findings, the WTO website has a link to it. Uh, you can also try to just type in tradecosts.wto.org and see if it comes up for you that way. I will probably put a post on the website with a link, but if you want to go take a look before that, just visit WTO website and look for the WTO Trade Cost Index. All right, so that's all I have for today. Uh, thanks again for stopping by the Compliance Kitchen, and we will see what we'll cook in compliance for next time. Mm -hmm.